I think it was more the um, what it was about, you know, the sense of um, marking a moment in time, in history, really, because that's what it is. When you look back at it, it'll be a moment in history that um, that sort of was hopefully the catalyst for enormous um, change. And the storytelling was so strong. Um, and that it was told from the female point of view of, um, and, and I think, you know, the way it's entertaining, but it's still very, very hard hitting. Yeah. That was really appealing. You have woven in these other, these other stories and then you have the Kayla character who's obviously a fictionalized character. Um, and you really, I think, viscerally feel um, through both Megan and through Kayla, the abuse. I think with Gretchen, you're seeing, you don't get to see her um, actually in the room with Owls and what's going on as much. So therefore you see her um, when she's, what she's up against and what she's trying to um, change and what she's trying to, um, what she considers is her right. And that's um, powerful, I hope. Having those two at the helm does, um, there's sort of, there's that, that's what they do. I mean, they're very um, committed politically to their, to, to what they believe and they're, but they're able to um, entertain at the same time. And Jay's obviously done that time and time again. Charles did it with the big short. Um, and Jay um, has, you know, that's really his, his purpose and his passion, I think, in terms of filmmaking is his, um, his desire for justice. This film, I, I think, is probably, you know, deeply disturbing when you watch it, whether you're a male or a female. Hopefully it is, it should be. But it should also be like, I mean, when you have Kate McKinnon and, and Alice and Janie and, and Connie Britton and all these extraordinary actors, and then you have John Lithgow, you know, somehow managing to um, pull you into this Owl's character with such um, aplomb. I mean, you really go, wow, he's such an extraordinary addition to the cast.